Hi everyone, this is Maria's Budgeting. Welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, and welcome if you are new. So today I'm going to be doing my cash envelope and sinking fund stuffing for the second paycheck of March. So for my paycheck, I am going to be stuffing 1182 So 1182 And let's see how much I have left over in my wallet. So nothing in dates. Gas does have four. We have four dollars. And then groceries has... 25. So we have 29. So in total, I am stuffing 1,211. So I am going to add this money to the tray. So we can go ahead and stuff. I'm going to put this wallet to the side for a moment. So let's go ahead and see. We have 100, 200, 300. 50, 400, 50, 500, 550. 570, 590, 710, I mean 610, 630, 650, 676, 90, 710, 30, 50, 70, 90, 810, 30, 50, 70, 90, 910, 30, 50, 70. So 970, 980, 90, 1000, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 200. So in the tray, I should have 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Perfect. So we do have $1,211 to stuff today. So let's go ahead and start off with my wallet. So first off, I do have dates, and dates is going to get... $50 and I'm just going to do that in a $50 bill. I'm going to go ahead and take that one. I do have some receipts to scan into Fetch. Fetch is an app that you can download to your phone. You can scan receipts. They give you points for the receipts and the points you can go ahead and redeem for gift cards. So I'm going to leave my code on the screen and down below in case you guys are interested in signing up using my code. Moving on to gas, we're going to add 100. So 50, 70, 90, and 100. Groceries is getting the usual 120. Um, let me see if I can, oops, if I can find just some uglier 20, yeah, $20 bills. So we have 40 there, 60, 80, 120. Let me make sure that is 120, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Perfect. Restaurants is getting $50 today, so we are going to do two 20s and one 10. So that is 50. And then for spending, we're doing 25. So I need an, another 20. And then I need a 5. So 25 in spending. And that is it for my wallet. Moving on to the pink binder, I am just stuffing parents with 150. So we have 250. And then Toyota, I already did this payment, so we have nothing. And then Verizon, we are going to add 35. And I am debating if I should just get rid of these envelopes. I think I might. I might just keep this money in the bank. Moving on, um, I do have some new envelopes. And this binder is from Budget with Lena. My new envelopes are the vellum envelopes from the Fancy Dollar. If you guys are interested in purchasing, you guys can go ahead and message her in Instagram, also with Budget with Lena. You can also message her regarding her binders, but I believe right now she is not, she doesn't have any in stock. So 
Um, you guys could go ahead and message her maybe if you're interested, but I'm not exactly sure if she has any right now. So first off, we do have Adventures, and Adventures is going to get a $5 bill. And it's an adjustment to um, switching over to these envelopes because I've had my zipper envelopes for a long time now, and I really, really do love them. But I decided to give um, the vellum envelopes a try. The ones that I have made for myself are just terrible. I don't know, for some reason, they just do not come out good for me. So I decided to buy some. So anyways, in Adventures, we have 5, 10, 15, and 16. Moving on to Beauty, um, we are going to be stuffing 15, so a 10 and a 5. And let's see how much we have now. We have 56, I mean, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, and 55. The sun keeps go, um, going in and out because it is right. It was raining today, but now it looks pretty clear. Um, but I do apologize that the lighting keeps changing. Moving on to birthdays, we are adding 50. I already purchased um, gifts for my boyfriend and my sister, but for my sister's best friend, I haven't bought her anything. And her birthday was um, last Sunday. So... I will be purchasing something for her. It's just that I'm running a little late with that. I'm also saving for my mom's birthday, which is April 21st. For birthdays, we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So 120 for now. Moving on to car insurance. We're not stuffing this currently. Car maintenance is going to get $10. Car maintenance now has $500 in the bank. The placeholders are available in Etsy shop if you guys are interested. 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 605. And the placeholder just represents money that I currently have in the bank. I do have it in my high yield savings account. Car tags, we're not stuffing for this right now. Casino is getting a $5 bill like usual. I usually just do five. We have 50, 55, 60, and 65. Moving on to Christmas, it's getting a $50 bill. Let me move this down. So we have 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 70, 90, 95, and 300 in Christmas. Clothing, we'll be getting a $10 bill. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and 71. Electronics is getting a $5 bill. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. I don't think I need anything electronic wise currently. Emergency fund, don't have anything, but I will count it for you guys. We have 1, 2, and 3,000 in the bank 20, 40, 50, 55, and 60. So 3,060. In emergency fund I'm gonna try to maybe um, add forty dollars to this so it could be at one thousand I mean three thousand one hundred instead of it being at sixty family fund we are adding ten so we have 20 30 35 40 45 46 7 8 9 49 gifts is getting five and I finally added a tracker to this envelope because I hadn't had one in a long time. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty or since I got out of this envelope I hadn't had a tracker. But twenty dollars in there. Let me readjust this money. I didn't like the way that I placed it. Okay that's a little bit better and that is actually it for this binder. Now we're going to move on to my next sinking funds binder. And we are starting off with health and health is getting $5. So 5, 10 and 15. Oh, no. 5, 10 and 11. $11 in health. Moving on to holidays. 
we are adding 15 because that is where I'm going to be saving for Mother's Day. So we now have 20. Moving on to home, we are adding $15 to this envelope. So 10, 15, and we now have 500 in the bank. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 610, 20, 30, and 35. So 635 in home. Moving on to household, we are adding a $10 bill. So we now have 10, 20, 25, and 26. Investing is getting a $5 bill. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. Medical is actually not getting anything, but I did receive a bill from my urgent care visit, pretty much my two visits. Um, I owe about, I think, almost $500. Um, so, yeah, that is something that I'm going to have to save for so I can pay that bill. So, anyways, medical is not getting anything today. Personal spending will not be getting anything. School is getting 15 So it has 3,500 in the bank, 600, 700, 800, 900, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So 3,980 in school. Toiletries is getting 15. My trucker's in the middle of these bills. So 10 and a five. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, and 41. And then vacation is getting 20. So we have 500 in the bank. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. So 590 in vacation, so we're almost at 600. And I did look for some Hawaii tickets for July, and they do cost about $600 round trip. So I am going to pull the trigger on that quite soon. Um, moving on, I do have this envelope that I added here, and it is for a future investment. I am not going to talk about what it is that I want to invest in. Uh, once it happens, um, I will go ahead and talk about it, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and keep it a secret. Now, from my YouTube paycheck, after deducting my nail set and deducting my YouTube taxes, I was left with $102, so that is going to go in here. Um, the savings from my paychecks that I would usually put towards savings, I am actually going to pause that, and I'm going to add anything that I can to this envelope for my what I called it, um, you guys can see it see in my tracker, I called it investment 2024. So I'm going to be saving um, a couple of thousands to try to do this that I have in mind. Now for my paycheck, I forgot to mention that I added the $50 from Fortnite Tuesdays. I got rid of that envelope. That was included in this money that I that I am cash stuffing. So technically the full amount wasn't from my paycheck, like just my full-time paycheck. So $50 was from Fortnite Tuesdays. I removed that. That money is going to go in here. I had $35 from my rewards. So that is also going in here. And then I have $140 that is coming from my actual paycheck that I'm going to be adding here. I That $140, I would have added it to my actual savings, my personal savings, but I'm going to add it to this future investment. So in total, what I'm going to be adding to this envelope is $226. So $225 and six. And I have 102, that is from my YouTube paycheck. So let's add all of this. And now we have 100, 200, 300, 25, six, seven, and eight. So 
328 in this envelope for my future investment. And that is it for this binder. Moving on, we are going to work on our Pressure Makes Diamonds and we're going to work on section two. And we are stuffing $40, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that off. So while I'm stuffing the money and I count, this dries up. So we're going to do 40, so 20 and 40. So we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, I mean 100, 100, 10, 15, 20. 120, and we have $50 more. So once we're done with this section, it's going to be 170. So 170 in here, I mean 120 in here, it will be 170 next paycheck. So that is it for this challenge. Moving on to my Leo binder. If you guys don't watch my weekly check-ins, um, I did actually take out 1,367 for my savings to pay a, a little bit of the balance down for my American Express, which is where I um, purchased my laptop. So my laptop broke, so I purchased a new one and I took out 1,367 to pay off a little bit of that balance because I want to keep my credit card under 30 because for the future investment that I'm planning on, it is not a home, just an FYI, it's not a home, but it, this investment, I will have to take out a loan. So in order to keep my balance under 30%, I did have to pay some of that balance and I want to do it um, sooner than later. So that keeps my savings at $10,000, which I'm content with. So we currently have ten thousand dollars in savings and we're going to keep it that keep it that way for a while because i'm not going to be adding to my savings i'm going to be adding to my investments 2024 envelope now we are going to add four dollars in here from my my extra money the 29 dollars that was extra or my rollover money four dollars is going to go in here so one two three and four So we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have $65 in here. For my sweet savings, we're adding 22. Let's see how much we have. So we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 10, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. So we have 430 in this savings challenge. And I am going to go ahead and scratch off the next number. So next time we are going to be stuffing $15 and we are going to add $30 in here, but also 20. So $20 is going to come from my rollover money and then $30 is for my regular paycheck. So we are going to place all of the stickers here. 18, 12, and then lastly we have 20. So this should be a total of 90. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. I don't know what I'm doing with this money quite yet. The reason why is because there's a lot of things that I can do with it. I can add it towards Mother's Day, which is coming up pretty soon. I can, I mean, it's in May, but it's still coming up pretty soon. So we I could do that. I can also add it to birthdays because I still have to buy my sister's best friend a birthday gift. And along with my mom, my mom is April 21st, which is not far from now. It's um, literally a month from now. And then also I can add it towards my investment. So I don't know yet. I'm going to pause on this. I really don't know what I want to do with it yet. I also can add this to my payment 
my medical payment or medical bill that just came in the mail, I can also unfortunately add it towards that. But I'm not going to get ahead of myself right now. I'm going to really think about it and then I will probably add this money somewhere during my last weekly check-in of the month. That's probably what I will be doing. And then lastly, we are going to add the $5 from my rollover. We already did 20 and 4, so 24. So what's left over from my rollover money is $5, which I will be adding to this challenge. So 5 going in here. So it now has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And that is it for this. Moving on, I did change my 52 week challenge to this binder. And we are going to March and we're gonna do 11, 12, and 13, which gives me 36. So 20, 30, five and six I will be adding this here so March now has 20 30 40 45 50 1 2 3 4 5 we have 55 in this challenge I'm going to go ahead and check these off. Next month is a four week month, so uh, we're going to do two and two. And that is it for the 52 week challenge, which is from Breathe and Budget. Moving on, we're going to do the Celestial Savings. And for this one, we are adding 28. Now I'm wondering why I have extra money. Somehow I kind of figured it out by myself. I just kind of thought about like, what could I have stuffed wrong? And what I did stuff wrong is health. Um, for health, I'm supposed to add a 10. So I now have 16 instead of only adding five. Yeah, because my tracker says I added 10. I will now have 16. So that is what I did wrong. Thankfully, it didn't take me long to figure that out. I just kind of was like, mm, what could I have stuffed wrong? And yeah, lo and behold, it was health. So. So for the celestial savings, the number that we're going to be stuffing is 28. So I have that money right here, 28. And I do have an envelope in the back. It's where I'm stuffing the money because just stuffing the small envelopes was just too much of a struggle for me. So I just added an envelope in the back. So in here, we now have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, and 2. So 242 in this challenge, and we're going to see what we're going to be stuffing next time. So I'm going to grab the next card. So next time we are stuffing 34. So I'm going to add the card back and I have to remember to mark off 28. So I need to mark this one off in flower number three. And that is it for this video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.